What's up, everyone? It's Wesley B. It's time for episode five of the Terraria Let's Play. This episode is going to particularly, it's going to be a build, a sort of a let's build. I've decided that um, I've kind of let the last few episodes get a little out of hand. They last way too damn long and they're far too damn boring. So I've actually made out like a list of goals to achieve for each episode. Fairly reasonable goals, I would think. Today is going to be the treasury and maybe some residential homes. And I think I actually will speed up. So now that I have Adobe Premiere Pro, I can actually edit a little better than what I had before. So I can actually speed up some of these uncomfortable moments of nothing happening. So let's get to it. You'll notice I have another character. I've been dicking around with a friend of mine up in Canada. It's a buddy of mine named Zachary. You guys will probably get a chance to meet him soon. Hopefully. But I made a character to play on a server with him for a little while, so... But we're gonna stick with Wesley B, because... That's the one we've been watching lately. Lately. Anyway. Alright, so I'm gonna start right off with the treasury. And the first thing I want to do is hollow out the area that's gonna be sitting in all the space that it'll consume and since most of this is sand it shouldn't be too hard it should go nice and quick granted I don't suffocate myself in it I might need to get some more stone though looking at the about looking at the amount of space that I'm gonna be occupying at least probably going to be a good idea to get some more stone because that's I think that's what we've been using is a stone brick yeah so I may I may speed the uh, the the game up a little bit or the the video up a little bit to go get some stone so that we can continue building that way you don't have to for I don't ha you're not forced to watch me farm the whole time slowly because I mean, having watched the videos myself, it's like, wow, this this is just fucking boring. I'm not gonna put you through that pain no more. Essence or not, you can get the essence when you play the game yourself. Most of you are going to or have, so... I think it's just downright stupid... ...of me to be like, oh, I wanna capture the essence. Oh, yeah just dumb. I've come to my senses. Hooray! Okay. Oh, we have some gray bricks still. Oh, there we go. Let's, there we go. More damn sand in my way. Sand is everywhere in this, in this map. It's crazy. Damn it. I built big treasuries because I collect a lot of shit. I like to collect a lot of shit. I'm sort of a grab all the loots kind of guy. All right, um, let's figure out how exactly how big I want this to be. Let's see, I need to go, oh, I can do that from, I can make some platforms without needing a crafting bench. There we go. I'll need a few platforms. And, oops. Actually, yeah, that, that might work. Yeah, that'll work. Fuck it. This will be the top floor. And then we'll go down another three. Yeah. Oh, we're out of stone now. Well, not out of stone, but out of stone brick. And to make that... Wow. I don't think I have any spare stone laying around. Hell no, I don't. Alright. 
Well, I'm gonna go grab some stone then. Okay, there we go. Got some stone. Can make some more gray bricks. Lots more. We're gonna need a lot. Since that's what we decided to start building with, so. All right, so here's our second level, our second floor or whatever. Still got some stuff in the way, don't we? this shit out of the way. Fucking sand everywhere, man. Hell of sand. We'll have this be the end. Actually. We'll leave it open for the moment. Let's get our floors fixed, or set up first. There's three... And what I'll do is I'll try to build it so that I can keep, continue to expand on it if I need to. Let's let's go ahead and measure it out. I didn't bother met, counting any of the blocks. Would have been useful information to have at hand, but oh well. All right, so we got one, two, three, and then I put a torch. And then I do the same thing basically. Two, three. Damn torch. And then we'll just take these first three boxes back. And then a torch. So we'll do what we got sitting here like one, two, three, four, five, six. And then I'm going to add two for torches on each end. So this will, should, change the measurement a little bit, but it should work. Let's try it. Get one, two, three, torch. One, two, three, torch. One, two, three, torch, which means this last patch will be also one, two, three, so. So we need to go one more. All right. There we go. Cool. So that means the rest of these will line up on their own. To make the room nice and even. Now, the way I build my treasuries, because I'm really like super picky about my organization. It's not that I'm OCD, I just like when shit is in order. So I do it to where each chest gets its own layer. Like you got the wooden chest here, the gold chest here, you know, water chest, etc. That way I can kind of keep an idea of what's in what chest, and I can pretty much store limitlessly if I really wanted to. But that's a, that's the basic beginning of our little treasury here. I'm also, I'm going to run through and break some of these walls. I'll speed this up as well.
Okay, I'm not gonna break all the walls yet, I guess. Um, I want to make some walls to replace it. We were using wood before. Uh... Dirt stone... Bet that would look cool. Let's use... Wait, what was that? My other one over there, what's that? Mushroom wall. Hmm, why not? Let's put some mushroom walls in this bitch. I bet I can go get a whole bunch of them mushrooms. Weird. Or... I can make it really interesting. I should have done that. There we go. And I can use the walls intertwining with each other to make it look sort of like columns or pillars. That would be cool. Let's do that. Sounds fun. So let's go ahead and do the brick wall. Like in between and shit. Okay, so here we'll put brick wall. That's wicked. Love it. Whoops. Okay. One, two, three. That tells me where my torch goes again. And we'll continue doing that. Now see, these will kind of line up all the way down, so I know exactly where to put my torches now. Because I've got the one level figured out already. And that way, I just follow the, use the, use the, I don't know, columns, the mushroom wall to just follow a straight line. Oh, looks like we're at a mushroom wall. That's alright. Get the rest of this filled in. Oh, we're out of stone walls. Let's go ahead and get some more. I still got brick on me. Hundred and thirty-six. I should at least finish this row. There we go. And then some. There we go. Now we'll go ahead and put some torches down. So the area lights up nice and pretty for the videos. Because it's all important. Lighting is all important. <laughs> Alright, so that's basically the treasure. Let's get rid of this map. There we go. That's the basic idea of the treasury. You get a general idea of what we're going for here. I'll have to go and collect some more mushrooms. One of these days, I'm going to fall down and hit that, and it's going to be ice, and it's going to kill me, and it's going to be hilarious. I think I'm too far down, though. Yeah, I think I went too far. I don't remember... I don't remember where all the mushroom biomes were at.
think we had to go this way. Here we are. Let's collect some of these mushrooms, shall we? Maybe find some seeds while we're at it. There we go. Seeds are always nice, because then I can plant my own damn garden. Now I have to go searching for it again. That was crazy. I, I honestly could not fucking remember wh which way it was. Or how to get to it, for that matter. It's just it's like total... totally lost. But, this should give us a few mushrooms to work with. Uh, does it keep going down? I don't think it does. I remember there being another one. There it is. It's below us. Nice size one down here. Let's grab some more mushrooms. We need some walls, man. Hey, look. A jellyfish statue. Oh, I thought that was like a slime or something. Anyway, this ought to fetch us a nice amount of mushrooms to work with, so... We'll go ahead and speed it back home... ...by... ...grab these cobwebs. I collect, like I told you, I collect everything. I'm horrible at that. Grab all the loots. Alright, so let's go ahead and head back. Because I don't have the mirror yet. Still. I haven't really been actively searching for it, though, either. Well, let's make our mushroom walls. Finish it up. Ooh, there it is. It's a good thing we've gone through and we're making this treasury now. My inventory was getting pretty fucking full of stuff. Getting kind of hard to maintain supply lines. Alright. Now we just need to find some damn chests. I can always make some, I suppose. Let's put stuff away. For right now, like I told you, I'm, I'm like super, super into organization. I won't mess with that right now. I'll actually probably come and do that while I'm, uh, you know, not recording. Since it takes a really long time for me to do it. But I'll show you the end result. How I like to organize my stuff anyway. That would have been useful. Oh well. This could still be useful, so let's keep it on me. I don't really need these no more. Now let's move everything from that chest, which is not much. Move the chest on down so we can utilize that entire top room for our tools. Tools and shit go in there. Alright, so that deals with all of that. I'm gonna put my money away, so I don't lose it. I typically do that every time I come back to town, when I remember to do it. It's a good practice, you know, you don't lose everything. Okay, so I think that's pretty good, pretty good par for this, uh, this episode. We'll call it, uh, a good episode. It's epi this was episode five. If you had some fun, you know, let me know. I appreciate that. And, uh, we'll see you next Monday for episode six. And w episode six, we'll probably start setting up the rest of some of these residential houses over here. Because it'll actually go pretty deep. There's quite a few NPCs in this game now. But um, that way we can start attracting some people. And then set up for the Eater of Worlds. So, yeah. Alright. Thanks for watching.